Hi everyone, this is Pat Gillette from Dragonfly Art Studio, and uh, it's 2 o'clock Friday. I'm going to do another live, do a painting live. And um, I just wanted to talk to you about a few things that, have you ever wondered why some artists can just be in, you know, action and creating art and they seem to be in flow all the time? and and while others have a hard time getting going, um, do you ever wonder how some people can tap their intuition easily and uh, others just avoid facing a blank canvas or blank paper, just don't know how to start? Um, how, about, how about when others can just trust their feelings? You know, art is very much about your feelings and getting your feelings across to people. And and we're doing this live and there's a package delivery apparently. Okay, while well, others are, seem to be stuck in self-doubt, you know, all of this thinking keeps you going around in circles, you know? And it's, a, it's easy to get into this kind of drifting kind of a way these days, you know? Um, it's easy to just kind of flow through and share jokes on Facebook and and not do anything and want to curl up and just sleep a lot, you know. There's a lot of that going on and you really do have to listen to your body. But there's also this other aspect. There are things that you could be doing to get, uh, to ignite that spark in you to get your passion going, and art certainly is one of them. Art is one of the unique things because it's different than other things. You know, you can only exercise for so long and meditate for so long and, and all this, but art, art can carry you through, and you have something to show for it, and it's a growing, evolving thing, you know? It's not just doing the, the same thing all the time. It changes all the time. And um, there's an ebb and flow to art, and this is important uh, to recognize in, that in yourself, you know. But there are also ways to encourage yourself, to get motivated, um, to get the feelings going. And, and the interesting thing is, it's to stop thinking about it and just start doing it. Doing art grounds you. It grounds you in the present. It, um, it makes all the thinking stuff just dissolve and go away, and, and you're not stuck in that anymore. You're moving forward, you're creating again. You get you out of that thinking, and in three days, the doors are going to open to my art and mentorship program on Monday, New Moon Day. The doors are gonna open, and if, if any of you feel like you need some encouragement, you need to be motivated by something. Um, give this some thought, give this some consideration. You, you get inspired. We're gonna have you know videos about guest artists, videos about how artists begin their kind of work, uh, doing different techniques, learning different tools. There's a lot of motivation in there. There's, um, I'm thinking of having, I'm missing museums, so I'm thinking of having a museum scavenger hunt, you know, and what we'll be doing there is the way to, to get all this excitement rolling is every Monday you get a new lesson. And the lessons, you know, are all different kinds of things that I love and that I hope that you would love too, but you know, it gets you into trying new things to discover yourself and find your path. Like there's one that'll show how I use my favorite art app. Okay. Uh, there's another that shows how to draw anything. There are a number of them of how to see the way an artist sees. There are a lot of, lot, a lot of lessons about color, color mixing, um, how to use a limited palette, how to create harmony in a painting. Um, playing with color, playing with art all the way through. So you get all these in videos. Um, you get encouragement, you get motivation. You know, you need to have a little vision for yourself 
like what would you like to be as an artist what would you like to try what would you like to do uh, curiosity takes an artist a long long way so we're looking for some people who are maybe interested in trying something new um, come play with me you know art is all about playtime art is all about getting back into painting again exploring discovering yourself with everything that you do um, gets you out of thinking and into doing um, you create your own future and I really believe this no matter what obstacles have gotten in my way I've gotten past them by doing art art has gotten me here to where I am today art can do this for you too so I'm a firm believer you know start to do something make a change um, use this time we don't know what the future holds but we know what today is and so join us give it a try you have nothing to lose uh, it starts on Monday and every Monday you get a new lesson um, you'll get probably well I know for Wednesdays we're, we're gonna always have a live room we can either do a zoom or a room Facebook offers the room and that's not bad and we can all connect and talk and see each other share our art give encouragement along the way you know um, you need to create art that's that's meaningful to you you need to learn skills and techniques but you also need a supportive community and this is a great place to start you know so think about it think about joining us there's you know there's nothing stopping you and you can try a whole new adventure on Monday so give it some thought consider joining us now I'd like to do a painting because stop thinking stop talking well we'll keep talking but we're going to um, let's see get some light in here and we're going to do a painting I've really been getting into my um, okay where are we where are we there we go a nice vertical get you all lined up here take a little step over back a little bit so you get to see the whole thing get you straight 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 um, I've really been thinking so much about Santa Fe. I've gone through my paintings, my pictures, and, you know, that's another thing you get to learn, how to interpret one of your photos and make a painting of it. You know, this is great fun. This is great, great experience. And um, so I have one here, and I'm really into lavender skies lately, these days. So I'm going to just start with a bit of mark. And um, and I'm into these lavender mountains. Oh my gosh, you know. And then there are levels. We took the high road to Taos last September. And oh my gosh, it was so gorgeous. It was just so incredible. And it was like, we couldn't believe it. It was like the, the most wonderful trip. We go there like pretty much every September. Well, no, every other September. We would go on a big trip, you know, like a big trip, like Europe or someplace or save up for that and um and then the in-between years we would head to, to santa fe and uh my daughter went to school in flagstaff and so we'd see her and then we'd head over to santa fe all the time and that's how we got into the habit of it all but it's just it's just great I mean, you breathe differently. The sky is different, you know. It's just, it's just a wonderful place. 
it's, it's like going to another country, but not leaving our country, you know? I mean, so many cultures mingle and come together there. It's really, really fascinating. And then we're going to have some clouds and stuff up there. And um, let's see. Let's find it. And it's really more of a yellow green, but it'll, it'll give us something, something to work with. And you know, with every painting, we're, we, we work with values a lot. We want something some light tones, we want middle tones, and we need some very, very dark tones. So, with all of that, I've got my palette out here, and I really want to do a lavender sky. And, you know, I like to mix some colors so I've been playing with some new colors um, that I have. Actually, when it's Christmas, I ask for art supplies. And I have some art supplies that I have, haven't had a chance to try yet. So are you able to see that? Is this? Ah, OK. We don't want it to slip. OK. I'll check you every so often to make sure you're with me. And uh, let's see. And I mix, I like to mix my colors all the time and make things happening. And I work in segments pretty much, you know, work my way down. Blending. I've got wonderful clouds. Let's leave spaces for some of these clouds. And I like to carry the color through. So I'm going to put some of that in here. Pretty deep tone. And I don't know about anywhere else at this point, but, but through there for sure. And then, um, okay, so these clouds actually come down to the mountains. So, okay, that's good to know. Let's just bring these down. Let's see, we got the mountains, got this. Okay. Change my brushes. And the clouds out there, or the sky out there, the sky is just like incredible. It's, um, it kind of like, is like jewels, like jewel tones or something. It's, it's just really, really amazing. Let's see what we can get. I want to have a little pale yellowness to it, not too much. And everything is just, cause, because you're so high up, you know, you're at 7,000 feet, and it's like the air is crystal, you know, it's just like crystal up there. And let's get some of this, there's a lot of the pink. Oh, 
bones happening. Using titanium white, it's a very cool white, as they say. Lavender coming through. And deeper. I should decide what color I want those mountains to be. Let's continue on with the clouds. Get that nice, that rounded soft brush I really like a lot. And I want the top of the clouds to be the whitest. Clouds can be so many, they hold so many tones, so much going on in them. Soft, billowy at the top and then kind of coming down and wispy. Really kind of making the mountains stand out. You know, you're really aware of shadows cast on the ground of clouds. <laughs> I, I had never paid attention to it or, or even, I don't know that I've ever really experienced that very much. You know, coming from the city, Chicago, and, and we're very aware out here of um, the clouds, the cloud formations remind us very much of Santa Fe out here. Bring all that down. So, I'd love to know, are you creating? Are you making art? Um, I'm hearing <laughs> some of my people say all they want to do is curl up in a bowl and sleep. And that's understandable these days, you know? It's, uh, you're gonna be waiting a long time if you are gonna wait for things to be back to the way they used to be. Everything is shifting and changing and and it's a new normal and you have to find your, your place in the new normal. That's um, 
That's the trick. Except today, get yourself into the present. Art brings you into the present. Creating art brings you into the present. You focus on not all the stuff in the world. You focus on well, what color is this, you know? How am I going to make this look what I have in my mind's eye? How am I going to interpret this? What colors work? Some of the purple show through. Let the brush do the work for you. Let your strokes be a part of it. I kind of roll, roll this brush. wash it off and I dip it in water and wipe it on a cloth, wipe it on a, on a baby wipe or something. And got a little flo few floating things here. Kind of wispy. This one too, a little bit more wispy. Everything is a tool. Everything is a tool to use. Clouds overlap clouds. Very billowy, carrying our eye through. You know, there's a movement there going on with the clouds. Carry our eye through. Shadows, shadows inside of clouds. Kind of carry it across. Lots of tones going on in there. Maybe a little bit more in through here. Okay.
Okay, let's move on to that, that mountain range. Into another favorite brush, a smaller one. And um, that sky, I mean, that, that mountain range, I want. Then, very, very, very um, crisp edge. Kind of differentiate it from the the clouds and the sky. It's going to come up to a point. You know, this is all volcanic r mountain range at one point. This whole area. In Santa Fe and in uh, like fl northern Arizona. Flagstaff. Some of the coolest mountains were formed because they were volcanoes and the tops blew off of them and, and they're just incredible, the shapes of them and everything. Just wonderful. Now with that I want to put in some different, different tones. make things a little more interesting. And this one really goes off. Not like that. That's pretty cool. And this one has a little bit more of a point. It comes off a little bit smoother, deeper. So I would, you know, really love to have you join us and uh, see how it goes for you. Come paint with me. There's a um, video library of all, that's the whole thing, you know. Two things. I always thought the best way to learn art is like every week, a little something. That's just how I taught it. And, uh, and then have a resource of all the videos. You know, when you just have videos on, on Facebook or something, they're lost. You know, let's just keep scrolling and hope we can find something kind of a thing. You know, it's like, that's not the way to do it. You need a source. You need a, a home base. And that's what this is. It, it's a home base for everything to be found. And um, let's see. I wanted something. Well, we can always lighten things up later. We'll check it out later. lighter tone and just kind of accentuate some of this, these clouds. Okay, now for this next range, 
<clears throat> is happening here. It's very much, um, again, I want to keep a little purple on my brush, but it's this wonderful, wonderful kind of a blue and there's a color that I love and I'll see if that works with this. And it's a warm white mixed in with Prussian. I love Prussian. Prussian is just a wonderful, wonderful thing. And it seems to go for like this whole area here. This wonderful color running through. And it makes great contrast. Great contrast going on. And you see, you see the distance of these mountains so incredibly, so incredibly strong and powerful. So you got crystal clear air at 7,000 feet. You see forever. I mean, you're seeing you know, mountain ranges after mountain ranges. And it's, it's just an incredible experience. So you're breathing deeper. You're kind of, you know, at a high altitude like that, there's lots of things going on inside of you. Your white blood cells are trying to adjust. And if you, if you exert yourself too much, that's when you can get um, altitude sickness. I had it once. <laughs> almost, almost went home because of it. it uh, it's your white blood cells trying to catch up and adjust to um, your, in your body and it just it wipes you out you know you have to just rest you have to uh, go lay down somewhere and take a break so it's just there's all kinds of things happening and don't always know what there's things colors colors and things happening the distance color on, white color off. And to get really deep, a little Prussian blue with a little bit of Payne's gray. I don't know if we want it that deep, but we'll be getting some deeper things coming closer to us. But right in down at the base here, where it sinks down, there's stuff. Could be growth, could be tree line, something happening. And then as we come closer, as it gets closer to us, we get into other things happening. Now I'm still going to have a little bit of the purple because I like to mix colors, but I'm looking at a very light, very light kind of a, a warmer white kind of coming in in places.
Turn your brush on its side. Use a, use a, a large brush in a different way. some deep kind of pressure happening and through it becomes kind of a green to our light color again. That's all of this kind of coming through. I love warm white. Warm white is very interesting. And this all kind of comes down. and layers and layers of different things happening. And then there's some more of this warm white down and through here. You know, there's a lot of sagebrush, pinion, juniper. I mean, the place, you know, smells incredible. There's this wonderful scent about it that uh, is, is pretty, pretty incredible. Sage in the air. You know, I like to run my pictures through art apps and see what they look like. You know, another thing is I always check back with my painting, you know, at the end because it changes a lot. I do a lot at the end. I add a lot of things right at the end. And then some of you know, you know, the next day I add things too. <laughs> so there's always that going on. Now, let's see what this, what's going on with this. Let's get a little deeper tone. Something, let's do a little bit of lavender in there. You know we have these deep, dark, 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 dark. This is where the contrast starts to come in. We have things happening. Some kind of 
You're always interpreting. That's where, you know, that's where your your focus goes. Art gets you into a different mindset. green Layers and layers of things happening. And you also, if you sign up, you get my eight composition styles, which are fun to play with because you can just pick one and just try doing a painting and whatever you love to do. And work through each style and teach yourself all kinds of things that way. But you don't know anything unless you try it. You know, you have to try it. You have to give it a go. Okay, now what do we have going on over here? Well, got some real. Let's see, real pale. Real pale kind of things happening. Then it seems to be more of the um, kind of longish thingies. Sagey thingies. You know, on the Facebook page, ask me, ask me about anything. I've gotten through, you know, <laughs> we can't let a pandemic stop us, you know. We, we can't, um, I know it wants to, but we can't let it stop us. When you think about it, you've been through a lot of stuff in your life. And this is just another. And you adapt. With everything that comes your way, you adapt. And that's, that's it. That's what life is. You figure out a way to get through for yourself and make it work. And we're going to do the same with this. Yeah, sure. It might be different. But uh, that's what life is. Life keeps changing. It's different. It's never quite exactly the same as you thought it would be. So you just keep moving forward and trying new stuff. And now let's see, what have we got with that?
light tones again, grasses or something. You get a bit of, um, again, mixing your own kind of green. Using the colors that you already have in there. So it'll work. Oh, I like that. Maybe it's because I live in a forest. I, uh, I don't get into the greens all that much. I really love the blues, purples. I have a feeling I'm going to uh, do something with that sky. I have a feeling I'm going to. through that color a little bit. Makes a nice neutral. Now I'm hearing that some museums, you can make a reservation and go into like an art museum and some some of the, not the real big ones yet, but, and you're able to um, go in clockwise, <laughs> go in a clockwise direction and um, tour the museum and the exhibits and things. And that's wonderful. I mean, you know, there are safe ways to do everything. We're very creative people. Humans are creative. You need to be using your creativity in everything you do so that you stay safe. I like that. That gives a kind of a line quality going on there. Things closer to us would have a bit more detail. Things like that. And you know you get to that point where you want to take a picture and step away from it. But I'm still kind of thinking maybe I'll just kind of lighten up some of this lavender. Still keep it lavender. <laughs> Want to keep it lavender. I 
that's the thing, you know, there are no mistakes. You just keep painting. Cover it over. Work through it. Blender. Let the brush do the work. Okay, oh, you know, that's, that's a nice thing. Gonna make those things swirl a bit. Make those shapes in the clouds kind of swirl like the clouds. Oh, I like that. my brushes. That's why you get acrylic brushes. They can take a lot, you know. And then just, let's see, just a little bit. Swirly. Like that. Let's see, you don't know unless you play. You don't know unless you try it. I like that movement in there. So, I think what I'm going to do is stop for now, take a picture. Maybe once it's it's dry a bit. I'll add more white highlights in the clouds. And um, keep it at that. I'm thinking. I'll know a lot when I take a picture. I'll know a lot if it needs, you know, colors in other places and things like that. But I think we're off to a good start. And it's my lavender sky. And um, I thank you all for being here. And I hope you enjoyed today. And I'll see you next time. So join me at the uh, Art and Mentorship Program. Three days, Monday, sign up day. Hope to see you there. Thanks for being here. Bye for now.